Right, this is Paint Shop Pro and I'm going to create a card. I'm going to select our first image, 11.7 11 .7 tenths by 8.3 tenths, which is A4. We'll call this our basic card. Just going to move that out of the way. Then I'm going to create another image, A5 size. So we'll just delete that out and put three at five point eight in and say OK. And I'm just going to move that out of the way. Those are now I'm going to select an image that I have uh, worked with before and prepared earlier. Devious Fairy by Catherine Barber. So I'd like to thank all the authors of these beautiful pieces of graphics and all those that have written tutorials for Paint Shop Pro and saved them on the internet. I'm going to right click and copy and then I'm going to close her off and then I'm going to open her as a new image and the reason for this is it allows me to work and alter that image and not destroy my original or if the original was in another format it changes it to Paint Shop Pro format. Here we have her, isn't she gorgeous? So what I'm going to do now is add another raster layer to create a background. I could put a background directly on that graphic but I want to work with layers to show you the value of having them. We can do several things now. Select our materials. We can use solid colour, gradients. These are um, a selection that come preloaded. You can do your own or you can add them from the internet. Or patterns again preloaded select or make your own or download some off the internet but for the point of this demonstration and um, how to we're going to create um, a gradient so we'll look through and we'll see what we have that we might like to use oh, well we could say let, let's make our own let's start with that one so we're going to edit and we're going to make a new one and we're going to call her Fairy. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves a few uh, blocks where to put the colour and what we're going to do now rather than use block colour we're going to clone. So I'm going to take a, a light colour first, oops, I to select that one, a light colour then we could look for some of the tans Budging up a bit, as much as some of that. We could think about a darker time, and then we can work towards cloning some of that pink. Then perhaps if we have a, a violet one, light violet, there we go. And then finally, we'll go for the blue. And we'll close, we'll save. And now we can use it. Just going to turn it up the other way. Blue for the sky and to get it further away from the leggings. I'm just altering the angle. Click OK. Go to our pour and fill tool and place it into the background. What's happened now is the layers are in the wrong sequence. So I'm going to rearrange and drop that to the bottom. I think that looks quite good. Now the next thing we can do is we can add another layer and we could place something on that layer. If we go to our tool called Tubes, these are preloaded or you can add to them um, a selection of transparent graphics and you can use these, select that little flower we're going to put them on this blank raster and you can select these and add them to the picture. This layer needs to come to the top. There we go. If you don't like it, you just press delete and they have gone. Time is actually quite limited 
um, on YouTube for uploads so I'm going to go quickly to the next phase otherwise I don't complete in time. I'm going to right click and we're going to save as merged that way it saves the raster 1 and raster 2. I'm going to bring up our A5 sheet now don't worry about the sizing on these obviously I'm squeezing them in to fit the screen and I'm going to paste that as a new layer that is control L or you can go to edit and you can paste as new layer either way right so now we have that graphic now on our A5 and we have a background so I'm going to click on that background and I'm going to go back to our materials I'm going to bring up that material and I'm going to turn this around so it's now upside down I'm going to click OK I'm going to select that tool and I'm going to pour that in I don't necessarily need an extra layer to do anything else because I can backspace it out from here but I think it's always wise to work on more layers automatically if you put a text box on you get a Vesta layer so what I want to do now is just to go back to those tubes and flowers to soften the outline here and um, confession to trying this earlier I think I used that one and it just does soften the edge let's bring it to the top and we can just soften the edge of our flower fairy our fairy maker into something more floral I'm going to save that one now again it's speed you can see the other little how to's I've done on uh, making uh, little um, layered graphics copy merge so we get all three layers go to our card which is A4 control L or edit paste as new layer select the pick tool drag her to the right hand side print this card and fold as a mountain becomes the outside fold it as a valley it becomes the inside but I would always recommend if you're using particularly good cardstock do not print on both sides not worth it it's far better if you're going to do an insert just to do an insert on paper again at this stage you can still add you can still put a, a text box on there from here if you select print just remember to turn this now to landscape okay and to print um, to the edges if you can do that on your printer good luck and it is fun bye for now